Oh, yes. This is my kind of shootout between the two biggest TV car icons of all time. The General Lee versus the Striped Tomato. The Duke Boys versus Starsky and Hutch. Trouble sure had a way of finding them Duke Boys and their 1969 Dodge Charger RT. Wearing the Confederate flag and named after a leader of the American Civil War, the General Lee was a race car, hence the doors being welded shut. David Starsky's 1974 Ford Grand Torino was unusually attention-grabbing for a cop who spent large amounts of time on stakeouts. It's a little-known fact, but the Ford actually appeared briefly in the first ever episode of The Dukes of Hazard. But the two have never been raced. Until now. So, two all-American V8s, but which has stood the test of time the best? We'll start with the General Lee. This car is 18 feet long. It's six feet wide. It weighs two and a quarter ton. When it was new, it was 375 brake horsepower. But the best thing about this car is the noise. A 7.2-litre engine. But still, that is not enough to get this car sideways, which I am amazed at. Turn in... Well, you turn in and the steering's optional, quite frankly. Oh, and the brakes are absolutely diabolical. <laughs> would be destroyed every episode during filming so Warner Brothers got through 320 of them which meant eventually there was a shortage of Dodge Chargers in Southern California so the cheeky film boys ended up repeating some of the jumps and the crashes that had appeared in earlier episodes right come on boss hog let's do a fast lap let's jump. I believe it. Oh my god, break, break, break. I have turned the wheel and the tyres have thankfully come with me. It's such a massive lolloping lump that I am amazed the Duke boys didn't get caught more. What was Boss Hog driving? A mule? The General Lee crosses the line in a surprisingly slow 2 minutes 33.59. Will the Ford Gran Torino be any quicker? The makers of Starsky and Hutch were a bit more careful than those Duke boys. Only 12 of these cars were used and amused during filming. Now, when they did film, they actually changed the gear ratios to give it more oomph out of a corner. <laughs> How wise they were. Under that long bonnet is a 5.8-litre engine, but it only produces, well, in its heyday, 250 brake horsepower, which isn't very much. This car is 17 feet 6 long, and it weighs 2.5 tonnes. That's a quarter of a tonne more than the General Lee. When it comes to handling, it's very simple. You turn into a bend, the body dips, you move around a bit, you straighten up, it straightens up, job done. Onto the brakes, I can actually feel them, which is wonderful. And it means I can brake later into the corners when I get to them. OK, let's see if we can outrun the General Lee on our fast lap. Into the first corner, the throttle's flat out. I'm going to slide down to second gear, turn in. At the first checkpoint, the Gran Torino is one and a half seconds down on the General Lee. I think my cornering speed is similar to that of the General Lee. It just it takes me quite a while to get to the corner and to exit the corner. At the chicane, it's two and a half seconds down. I'm gently getting to 60 miles an hour. Starsky and Hutch manages to claw back a second in the final sector, but still crosses the line one and a half seconds slower than the General Lee. 